What a beautiful day it is today, guys. I finally took the bike out for the first time in way too long. I went about 19 miles. I just feel so much better about my day after exercising. I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go shower. And let's talk about vlogging on YouTube today. Yes, I am a 28 year old man and I still love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Probably eat like three or four a week. Vlogging on YouTube. It's gotta be the most common question I get on all of my videos. Brandon, how do I become a YouTuber? How do I make vlogs like you do? Well, today I'm gonna go through all of the equipment you'll need as a beginner. I'll show you all of the equipment I use to make my videos. And then I'll show you what the big guys use. Guys like Casey Neistat. And make sure you watch until the end because I have the number one piece of equipment. It's about $299 and it's all you'll ever need to make any vlog you want. So the most obvious thing all YouTubers are gonna need is a camera, but I have a secret for you guys. I know how to get high definition, high quality video without spending an extra penny. Guys, just reach into your pocket and use your cell phone. So it's kind of sad, but like 97% of YouTubers quit after the first couple of videos they make. So you went out, you bought all this expensive equipment and now you have no use for it. And on top of that, guys, the cell phone quality has gotten so good that I bet most of you didn't even realize I switched over to my phone. Yeah, I totally made up that 97% stat, but I'm sure it's close enough. So if you're really enjoying YouTube and you have a lot of videos and you're gaining subscribers, well, maybe it is time to upgrade from the phone. So the camera that I use is called the Canon EOS M50. I was gonna show you guys it, but then I realized that I'm using the camera right now, but I'll put a picture on the screen. I love this camera so much. It's got the screen that pops out, so it's perfect for vlogging. You can change lenses. Like, look, I have a bunch of different lenses for different things. You can add a microphone to it to make the audio better. It's a great camera and it'll set you back about $550. Now, the only downside to this camera is it's not really great in 4K. So if 4K is something you guys think you want, maybe you should upgrade to something a little bit more expensive. I know vloggers like Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat, they use expensive cameras like the Canon R5 or the Canon R6. But guys, these cameras are gonna set you back $3,500, maybe even $5,000. So I wanna get out of the house and have a little bit of fun for this vlog, but before I get started with that, I wanna talk about audio. Guys, audio is so important for vlogging and it's something that a lot of creators overlook. So one thing you guys might've noticed when I switched over to my cell phone for the video, the audio quality got a lot worse. That might've been why some of you were able to tell that I switched cameras. But believe it or not, that has nothing to do with my camera. It has nothing to do with my cell phone. The only reason why the audio is so good on my camera is because I bought an external microphone. So this is what the audio sounds like with my camera and the nice microphone. This is the audio using the camera, but no external microphone. So you guys could probably tell the audio is way worse without the microphone. This is actually the mic that I use for all of my videos. It's called the Rode Video Mic Pro. This one's like $185. If you guys are a beginner, Get the Rode Video Micro. It's like $60. I've seen it on sale for 40, and the quality is gonna be just as good as this one, at least close. So I just looked at my phone and we have a tornado watch right now. Focus phone, there we go. The only problem is the next scene in my vlog is supposed to be the drone scene. I could not think of a worse time to fly a drone than during a tornado. I better hurry before this storm comes. So here's the thing about drones, don't buy them. And you might be surprised to hear me say that because I love my drone and I use it all the time. But there's two main problems with drones 
And the first one, I'll quote my favorite vlogger, Casey Neistat. He once said, nobody cares about your stupid drone shots unless you back it up with a good story. And unfortunately, I kind of agree with him. Now, the second and most important problem with drones are they can get really expensive really quickly. Now, you could find drones on the market for $50, $100, but the quality you're gonna get from those drones is so bad that it's probably gonna make your vlog worse. Now, if you've saved up a little bit of money and you really wanna buy a drone, guys, you have to buy a DJI. Now, I'm not getting any money, this isn't a sponsorship, but I haven't found a single drone on the market that compares to a DJI drone. But like I said, guys, don't waste your money on a drone unless you have a really important reason to get one. What time is it? Oh no! Oh jeez! So I completely forgot I'm in this tennis tournament and I have to play tonight, but it's raining, so we're playing inside. I really hope I'm not late. I just made it home from tennis. We actually won the match, but it was a pretty tough match. Ugh. Get out of here! What the? What's going on? Take this. We have uh, five. Oh, geez. They're on the ceiling? Oh, I got one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, apparently we have a bug infestation in my house now, but I'm getting a good leg workout. Babe, I got another one. Found another one? Where is it? So I told you guys in the beginning of the video that there's one camera that doesn't cost a lot of money and is all you'll ever need to vlog. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a guess what that camera might be. I'm heading over to my parents' house to show you guys that camera in action. Won't save you now. So you're still trying to guess this all-in-one camera. Well, here's a hint for you guys. You ready? Oh! Ah. Did any of you guys guess it yet? I'm gonna show you right now. The all-in-one camera. It can fit in my pocket and it costs $299. Half the cost of my main camera. The GoPro. Let me know in the comments who guessed it. This thing is waterproof. It takes great video. You can drop it on the ground and like I said, it literally fits in my pocket. So the only downside with the GoPro, let me zoom in a little bit. Ugh. The audio's not great, but like I said, the audio's not great with my main camera unless I put the microphone on there. And they actually have a little attachment. It's called like the media mod, where you can attach your own mic to this thing. One other thing about the audio on the GoPro, if you go underwater and come back up, the audio sounds kind of like this. But there's literally water in the microphone, so I'll give GoPro a pass on that one. I'm gonna go for a swim. What a beautiful day for September. <laughs> All right, that's enough swimming for one day. Time to go back home. <sighs> that was pretty quick. Well, now that I'm home, I should probably put my shirt on. <sighs> that's better. Guys, if there's one thing you learned from this vlog, please use your phone when you start vlogging. Don't waste money on expensive cameras. And if you do want to upgrade, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Buy one of these bad boys, $299, and you can do basically anything. Don't buy the drones, don't buy the fancy cameras. I'm gonna go fly my drone in another tornado. See you guys. Hey, make you so I just looked at my phone and we, oh.